stroke of course is something that we have to also know a interventional neurologist all of us should know their interventional neurologists and who should be therefore uh, contactable immediately because as soon as the patient of stroke comes to you or you diagnose stroke the first thing you will probably do is call the interventional neurologist and ask him where should i send the patient if the patient if the neurologist goes to multiple institutions and send the patient to that place as soon as possible actually uh, i i beg to differ a little here because the whole purpose of having a 24/7 stroke unit is that it is doctor agnostic which means that the hospital it should not matter who the doctor is uh, at that point in time because the whole purpose of a 24/7 unit is that there will be a qualified individual available at instantaneous notice ideally they'll work in shifts and be present there or in some instances they actually live within a 1 or 2 km radius and they are on call they will be there in 10 minutes or half an hour or something like that so whether you know an interventional neurologist neuroradiologist etc should not matter that practically of course it makes life easier you talk to them etc but it should not matter stroke stroke hospital with 24/7 unit and it is the hospital's responsibility if they are advertising a 24/7 stroke unit to have the people take care of the stroke and i i know this earlier was a challenge like when kokila ben advertised its stroke unit i have a friend who lives in khar whose mom had an acute stroke at 6 pm on a sunday the worst time you can have a stroke right and the lead neurologist there had gone for a lecture somewhere else and the um, second in command the uh, consultant but a very junior consultant was on wedding leave and despite having advertised a 24/7 stroke unit there was no neurologist available till next morning which today will never happen in the five or six hospitals that advertise 24/7 stroke units they will have a qualified neurologist or a neuroradiologist available 24/7 that is the only way they can call themselves a stroke unit so their only job really is to know the names of those hospitals and to confirm in advance with you know over a period of time you would know whether they are truly uh, functioning as 24/7 stroke unit. units or not so i think like we went through the list kokila ben nanavati reliance hn hinduja wokhard agripada um that's it actually isn't it global 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 has an acute stroke unit. so like i said and each one is trying to develop one in the locality so today at least if you are in the bombay city limits chances are you will find somebody within you know two or three kilometers uh, to get to but i was actually telling to share the story when we met you know in my building one of my neighbors who i had grown up with got a stroke his daughter's a dentist in half an hour the patient was taken to a hospital but they just landed up at the wrong hospital where they did not have a stroke unit but there was a neurologist the neurologist saw them and did not advise thrombolysis despite the ct having been done all within a 3 hour window so sometimes it's all matka no i mean it, it was just everything went perfect the only mistake the dentist daughter made is she did not check whether the hospital they were going to was a stroke 24/7 stroke unit or not and that's messed up everything so you just as as physicians i think this is our value you know you know where to go and you can guide them instantaneously yeah. absolutely uh, one thing that we should remember to do is if you diagnose a stroke uh, like in mi we give aspirin 
don't give aspirin because if you're going to thrombolize the patient, maybe the risk of bleeding will increase. So avoid aspirin, send the patient straight to the stroke uh, unit forward. What is